Now, as for Seoul's resumption of anti Pyongyang broadcasts at the inter Korean border, there are no signs of immediate threat of retaliation. But the North did put up their own speakers to drown out South Korea's broadcasts. Oh Soo-young gives us the latest. It has been four days since South Korea resumed its anti Pyongyang broadcast campaign through 11 loudspeakers along the inter Korean border. Blasting contents ranging from developments in South Korea, news from around the world, and even K pop, the measure was taken after the North conducted its fourth nuclear test last Wednesday as a form of psychological warfare against the communist state. While there might not be immediate psychological impact, if the broadcasts play continuously, North Korean soldiers or residents may start questioning the regime. That's why the South's loudspeaker campaign is what the North's regime fears the most. Seoul's military officials say Pyongyang initially countered with its own propaganda broadcast using two loudspeakers, but has now expanded the number to match the South in each location. Officials added that North Korea's speakers have low output, which leads them to believe that the purpose is to merely prevent the South's broadcast from being heard. With the North's power shortage and outdated broadcast technology, it may not be as effective. Seoul's defense ministry says there are no signs of immediate threat from the north, but South Korean troops along the border are on the highest state of alert. The ministry added that if North Korea decides to attack the speakers, it will retaliate with more than triple the force. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.